Hi, I'm Sandy Babb and welcome to my studio. I have um, an Etsy restock to share with you today. Um, and these are loaded paper bag kits. And um, <clears throat> just start right here with this one. Um, my thinking was that this would be a great way to jump off and decorate a um, journal. And my thought process behind this was that you would have enough things to um, really, you know, decorate up a, a journal. So you could use this paper bag as it is, but my thought was that there are different ways that you could use this in your journal. This is a pocket here. Um, I have applied something here, here, and here on all sections of the journal. So you could take this entire page out here, cut it apart, and put this whole thing in your journal just as it is. Or you could take it apart and cut it here and make this into a tag. Uh, you could cut this pocket off and glue it into your book as a pocket or what, whatever you wanted to make it in. And the same thing with the back piece. That these, this would be actually, you know, deconstruct the bag to use in your journal. Or you might just want to keep the bag as it is. Up to you. Um, this is more of a... Um, I call it like more like a gentleman's kit. It has, you know, more of a, a masculine vibe to it. Um, here is a little booklet with some hand-dyed papers and various little papers in it. Um, here is a floating pocket and a vintage card in there. It's a portrait of some young men. Here is a, um, another pocket, and this is filled with all kinds of things, um, some different types of ephemera, some vellum, a little bingo card, a thing about a bicycle, some tally cards, um, a crossword puzzle, just a, a variety of, of little embellishments that are in that. It also has this little um, tag here has this little, also another little booklet style, just a journal spot, little booklet style. It has um, the tag here, hand on tag. You have a fiber bundle with some fabric clusters with some vintage buttons, some um, lace, ribbons, a paper clip with some hand dyed ribbon. You've got a Tim Holtz pen and a little hand beaded bobble that matches. And then as a bonus I threw in anything that I had used while making this. There are all kinds of little pieces of paper and um, little imagery and things and I have included that in there also in the bag so that that can enhance your journal pages. Okay, and then I have this one that is a nature one that features deer, kind of a woodland deer theme. Okay, it's, must have a book page in there. Okay, and so I've got an image of the deer, the little fawn here and the pocket on the front. This has a laser cut wooden leaf and a Victorian, um, this is a reproduction, it's not old. Um, I can't remember what they, I think they called these scrap, is what they called them. And there is the mommy deer on the back. These were off of a, an old calendar. Um, here is, there's some book pages in here. And there should have been book pages in this one. Um, I'm not sure why there's not. I will go back and put book pages in that one. Um, there is your little goodie bag full of um, things. A little laser cut leaf, some pa variety of papers, and a little more of that Victorian scrap. <clears throat> You've got your fiber bundle with um, your vintage buttons and beading and things. Here is a little paper clip that goes, a top loading paper clip. It's a pocket. has a little hand dyed tag in it. And here is a little flip out that you can journal on. You can just attach that into your journal. 
here's another small tag and all these have the laser cut leaves in the the Victorian scrap just a little small tag and another tag for that and a booklet with some coffee dyed papers just a variety of different styles and types of papers and this is a tuck spot and then this you can either put it in a pocket or you can glue this back piece down in your journal and it pull, it it kind of folds out so you could do photos on this if you wanted to you know you could do photos on that or whatever you wanted to it just kind of telescopes out so that's that pack and let's look at this one. This was done with a vintage Dick and Jane workbook. Um, let's see if I can get everything out. Is that everything? Yeah. You can see where some of the answers were, were wrong for whoever did this, this little workbook. And these are vintage silk wallpaper butterflies on here. And this is vintage wallpaper here. The, the paper you see there and again I have used these so that you could use them however you wanted to in your book here's some of the book uh, the workbook sheet that was left um, the the goodie pack of papers your fiber pack and I'm not going to keep saying what they are because it's kind of self-explanatory this is a little flip open booklet and it has a hand dyed tag in it it's got a little bit of vintage denim jeans on there and some vintage wallpaper here is a little just a little fold out like this that you could tuck somewhere in your book this is an envelope style um, flip out you could either leave it like this to journal on or you can glue the sides and turn it into an envelope if you wanted it for that one. Here is a journaling card just with some lined paper on the back. Here is a top loading um, paper clip. It is a pocket and it's got the little Dick and Jane girls on there. Looks like they're roller skating. One of them has fallen down. That one would probably be me. And then there is this little piece and this opens up and these are pockets that you can put things in so that is the Dick and Jane kit I've got this kit here which this is using some um, images from a Victorian maga uh, ma fashion magazine I think it was I can't remember if it was the delineator is that what it was called is something starts with a D anyway that's where these images came from they are vintage here um, is the bag you can see how it's decorated up and you've got your goodie pack with all the extra papers and things your fiber pack and your there's some of the little images of the ladies here's a tag Here is a little flip out. Oh, I didn't put any little tags in there. I'll have to leave this one out. You, I had little tags tucked in most of these. I guess this one I forgot. Um, I'll tuck some tags in there. Some, there will be some little tags tucked in that. Then this one is a flip up. You glue this to your page and you can journal or, you know, use it however you want to. This one is... A telescoping one you would glue this piece to your page it would be like this and you could pull it down or pull it up this way to write maybe that's an accordion accordion not a telescope whichever anyway <laughs> this is a nut oh this one doesn't have tags either um, I'll put some little hand dyed tags in here. Um, this is another one of those little, or you could even, like if you wanted to, you could take this down, take this off, make it into a booklet. There's, you could alter these in so many different ways. And then here is another flip. And this flip, what I thought would be cute, is to use this flip as a belly band where you glued it here and here, 
and then this could still flip up for journaling and you could slide something behind it if you used it as a belly band. So there's that one. Then we've got this one that's about moths. I think it's just moths. There may be butterflies on here too. I don't know. I'll have to see. Moths and butterflies. Okay. Here is your package. Um, the pocket and then the um, different pieces of paper. Here is the fiber pack that comes with that one. We've got our goodie pack with all the extra papers and little pieces of fabric and butterflies and you know whatever else is in there. Here is one. Now this could either be a journaling spot or it can be an envelope. Um, if you glue the sides down it can be an envelope or you could just use it for a journal spot. And um, so there's that. Here is a little tag. This is silk wallpaper back here and this is some, some more vintage fabric from the 1920s. Vintage buttons, some sorry silk on there, some little lace. I could say that's old lace. I don't know that it's considered to be vintage lace. Um, this is another one of those things that you would glue it to the back or you could paper clip this in and it opens out for journaling. Just a little journal piece there. Here is, let's see, let's explore this together because I don't remember what it is. Oh, this is a double pocket where you can put things in both sides of the pocket. You could either glue this in the book or it could be floating, tucked in a pocket, whatever. Here is, now this one I did put tags in. Here is one of the little fold outs with tags in it. And here is a paper clip. I think this is a, yeah, this would clip on the side of the page. And there's a little tag in it. So that is the Moth and Butterfly kit. We have an Americana kit for the 4th of July. Um, let's see what we ended up with in here. I made these a while back and listed them and I haven't, um, haven't looked at them since. Uh, here are the, um, the pocket. Got a little banner. And I used some more um, images from that um, vintage um, book of the Victorian girls. You've got a fiber packet here. And your goodie packet with all the, this has got some book page in it. I've, evidently, I put book page in some and didn't in others. I'm going to have to go back and check all these. And this has all the, the goodies and things that were used in this book. There's a lot of things like that. Okay, so here we've got a little journaling flip. She's kind of cute. These are kind of bathing beauties or, you know, more, um, you know, I tried to give them more of a summer look. A little tag in there. Is this one a paper clip? No, that's just a pocket. Okay, this one's just a pocket too. We've got the little girl there. Here we have the um, little open like that. You could journal here and it's just got a little tag on there. And it just tucks underneath the little butterfly thing. Here we have, this could be either be a journal spot or an envelope, depending on how you chose to use it. And then a booklet. It's got some little coffee dyed paper in it. So that is the Americana kit. And then we have this bird kit. And I will tell you, this is some paper that was gifted to me from Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodle. So, um... The, um, I'm not sure which kit this is hers. It's one of her printables, this paper is. I will link that below because I don't remember what it, you know, what the, what the name of the kit is. But I will link it if you like the paper. Um, okay. So here we have the front and the back. I love her papers. I, I quite honestly, I'm a big Tina fan. Um, here is um, your goodie pack and your fiber pack. 
This has some vintage velvet and some hand dyed things in it. We've got a pretty tag here. We've got a paper clip. Just clips on your page. We've got a little booklet. Just with some little paper in it. We have a bigger booklet. This one's got hand dyed paper in it. We've got a corner tuck that you just can glue in or you could clip it in. Got a, a um, tag in it. And then a large pocket which could either be glued or clipped or tucked. Whatever with a hand dyed tag that is ready to decorate. And that is this bird and bloom and bumblebee one. Now I've got two other packs. This is a bird themed one. And it's got one of the vintage um, vintage inspired. This is not vintage. It's the vintage inspired um, gosh now I can't even think of the name. Anyway some vintage pearl buttons. There's the back with a dictionary page of a cat bird. Here is a pocket. And okay, this one opens. Here is just a plain pocket, almost like a library pocket style. Here's another pocket. I believe this one is this one interactive. Yes. It has double pockets on the inside and the pocket on the front. We have a book. This is handmade paper and just some ledger paper inside. Here's a, okay, this is like the envelope or journal tuck, whichever you would choose for it to be. And then this little booklet, which opens up and it's got double pockets on the inside. So there is that one. And one more. This is more of a mixed media kit. Um, it's a little different. This one has a lot of hand stitching and grunginess to it. Here you've got a, let's see, is this just a pocket? Yeah, just a pocket with the bird on it. In the botanicals. This is a little one of the tie envelope or journal flips, whichever you you know want to call it. Oops. This one it it opens up, and there are two hand dyed tags in there. This one is a floating pocket, or you can glue it in your book with a hand dyed tag. Some stitch and okay, here is another one. I'm seeing if that was a pocket. I didn't remember. No, it's not. And it is tied shut, and I believe this has tags in it. Yes, it's got double pockets with some little tags in there. And then it has a slow stitch. Um, booklet that's collaged and um, stitched on and this has whoops okay what did I do here I guess that pulls through there <laughs> didn't know how I tied it here's a little foldy pocket tag thing some more ledger paper another little foldy Thing with the tag and the booklet and yet another one to just to be a little bit different and that is what is in that bird and botanical pack so I wanted to thank you for your patience for joining me on this little look-see um, these will be listed in my Etsy shop and I will leave a link below and thank you for viewing and I will see you around the studio